What's up, guys? Guess who's back? Hey, guys. It's this guy. <laughs> I'm back after being absent for how long? Five months. Five months. Five months. Five months and a bit more and a bit more. Yeah. yeah. It's been it's been a while. It's been you know Corona and school and everything basically. Lockdown <laughs> and relations and the works. But anyway, I'm finally back. back. Me back. I'm back for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be with baby. Who doesn't wanna baby, come out? <laughs> baby and baby. But anyway, concerning the baby, this kid right here. Well, you can't see the kid, but the kid, the kid. in here, <laughs> in this lady here, doesn't wanna come out. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure when, when or under what circumstances. But nonetheless, when she's here, they know it's a she, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. When she's here. We'll let you guys know and probably take another break. Probably not <laughs> as long. We're gonna be more frequent and more Yeah, you better consistent. Well, so yeah. It's gonna be easier. So yeah, we're gonna be I'm gonna be here for the next couple of videos. You're gonna probably get tired of me again. And yeah, we're gonna take it from there. So anyway, so we were discussing a few things just as like an update general exactly. overview. I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> That's because you're back in front of the camera. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, we're going to be discussing a few things just to give you a bit of perspective of where we are, where we stand and... How far we are in terms of getting ready. Exactly. Yeah. And our position, or positionality, if you wish, hey, hey. concerning oh, yeah. the, the lockdown and our status and all those things. So I've got some notes here. I've got notes. I won't lie. I want to be using to put on my phone just to reference my notes to keep me in check. You know, because I haven't done this in five months, so I don't want to stray away and as I'm doing now actually and go off topic and all those things. So I'm going to start here. The first point is while well, I'm back, how did I do that and my fears, anxieties, concerning. So I, yeah, so I, I took a flight, I wouldn't take a bus, that's just too much time on a bus and I could possibly catch the virus, so I took a flight. And I use the permit to change your address because I am. I left Cape Town. In Derry. Yeah. Mm. It's like a temporary change in my case. Mm. Not more like a permanent change. Anyway. But yeah, I'm back. I'm in Durban. So I used, was it was at Form 6, right? I think it was Form 6. Yeah, I used yeah. Form 6 on the, the government regulations effect. thing. Yeah, but if you go on Fly Safe, it's yeah. right there. Because I flew with Fly Safe. Because only Fly Safe and Mango are flying as far mm. as I know. It was a pretty, it was an early flight, a cold day, but it was a decent flight nonetheless. There was no service on the plane, that a biplane for this. It's pretty it's expensive, expensive, if you ask me. <laughs> but anyway, it was a clean flight, you know, did the hair, okay, got to the airport, we did the temperature screen. check, mm. then they checked your permits, then you walked in, and then they did your screening, you mm. know, have you tested positive, have you seen any on COVID, and other questions. Then we, we check in online on your phone or laptop, whatever. You check in online, you get your ticket online. So you don't really need to print out a ticket. They don't print out tickets actually, to be honest. So you check in online, you get your tickets online. I'm going to talk a bit too much. I know <laughs> I'm hogging the camera, but forgive me. You back, it's fine. You I'm check in online, you get your ticket printed. Well, I got mine via WhatsApp, so that was pretty easy. You do the whole scan, you check your bags, and you, you wait. But the waiting area, you they flag your gate, they send it to you via SMS, so okay. gate 11 or gate 10 or whatever. Then you see your gates via SMS, and it also shows on the screens at the airport that like flights from Durban to Cape Town gate, flights of fair, flight from here to the Mango gate, whatever. Yeah. Then you get your gate, and then you board, you put on your mask, you scan your own tickets, you open your own ID, there's a screen between you and those people. You get into the plane and they do the whole sanitizer thing and you, you sit down. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, in my case, the person that was in my did the whole seat blocking mm -hmm. thing, so the seat between us was empty. But the plane was relatively full, but there were like four rows of, okay. of three people, yeah. And they uh, got to Durban and, you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, finally. finally. <laughs> and it looked like a fool because I was wearing very warmly mm. or, for warm, or cold weather, I should say. I was head down like a pair of joggers, a sweater. Or, Which made sense for 
King's this house, yeah, and this house. Yeah. Exactly. My grand house is really cold, yeah. guys. <laughs> but when I got to the airport, it was hot and it looked like a fool. And I was wearing like a nonsense top underneath, so I couldn't really take but off I'm my sure jersey. But I didn't take it off. And yeah, I was supposed to take the shuttle from the airport to town, and only to my surprise, is that okay? <laughs> I do I know shuttles, so I had to you know make a plan. But I eventually got to town, and I took a taxi, and I got home, and well, yeah, and and there was food out. that I didn't make waiting for me. I was like. Oh, for the first time in five months, I didn't have to make food and I'm eating. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. Then I ate, I was really happy. Then immediately, we you did. got dressed. I was already dressed. You were, yeah. Then we left, we did the scan. Ah, oh, see my baby. First saw my belly for the first Like, he saw my belly, yeah, while I was dressed. But then, you know, when you go for the scan, you need to um, yeah. expose your belly. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I was like, like oh. <laughs> That's <big. laughs> But then yeah, we did the scan. Luckily the lady did the scan was really is a really nice woman. Mm, very, very Professional, nice. she knows her work, you know, also questions she can ask, answer in, you know, a blink of an eye. She also gave me the three D experience for the first time because I wasn't there for the initial three D scan. Be for 2D. <laughs> exactly. So really nice woman, really understanding, you know, she's a mother herself, I think that's part of the reason mm. why she's so sensitive and understanding. And I'm sure you're happy because now she looks more like you. Yeah, big forehead. It's all him. My nose. Like the first scan, the first three D scan was all me. Yeah. It was yeah. all me then. Copy and paste to be honest. Oh, and then now. And then now she is yeah. that little girl. I'm going through this heartburn right now. For she now. has plenty of hair though, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. Yeah. She does. So big yes. forehead, big nose, big eyes. It's your eyes though. We're not too sure because we all, all three of us have big eyes but different eyes. Yeah. yeah. My lips, my lips. I, I, I she likes to show her tongue, me. though. She <laughs> likes to show her tongue. Um, Playing with who there? <laughs> you. <laughs> and the cheeks are mine, but everything and else. No. Yeah. So yeah, it's been really fun. It's been great being back. I have enjoyed each and every second. You know, waking up late. Yo, cause back at 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 res or in Cape Town, generally speaking, I'd wake up at like eight a.m. do some work. So for the past couple of days, I've been waking up really, really early late in these past couple of days because you know. of me because i sleep a lot exactly so i've been in support <laughs> one yes, support. i've been one <laughs> with the pregnancy i've been there you know with that moral support and sleep support which i don't mind giving it to <laughs> but yeah i've been sleeping in which i don't mind i need a break i haven't taken a break this whole year yeah, working on my research which i'm making good progress with so far i have done my my title application supervisor application and my mou i've done my theory my methodology i have done my background i've done a few other things that i'm not really remembering right now because i'm in You've the moment done a lot. but right now i'm going to move on to my literature review and then just try to get this submitted by september so yeah that's that's the status that's right plan. now on the research and what else that i want to talk about First click and scan has been discussed and yes, yesterday or whenever you see this on the, I'll tell you the date now, the 13th of July, there was a checkup done and mom and baby are both really, really Bye. healthy. They do okay, well. which is good news in any language. <laughs> and yeah, so just expect, fully developed now, fully Ooh, developed baby. Fully, just come out. So just expecting... <laughs> Her to come out now anytime when she decides. Even to, during, well, during this video, who knows? Who what knows? Might <laughs> who knows? This might just be evidence of water breaking and stuff. And yes, I'm still on my phone checking those notes because you know I need to stay in line. And yeah, so both mom and baby are healthy. They're coming. Well, baby is coming around home. anytime oh. soon. And we are all prepared. I think we've got everything we need. Clothes. Yeah, it's just those small and yana things. That are, we've got napkins. I don't think you can ever say you are fully, fully prepared. Yeah, yeah. It's just those small and yana things. But yeah. emotionally, mentally, we yeah. are prepared. But anyway, we're going to park it there, there. for now. Oh. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.